The overall goal of this procedure is to evaluate the extent of myofibrillar organization in translucent zebrafish larvae and to quantify their swimming distance in response to tactile stimulation. For both methods, this is accomplished first by mating the zebrafish and then collecting viable eggs. In the second step of the assay for evaluating muscle structure, a decorionated anesthetized zebrafish embryo is positioned directly between two polarized lenses on a stereomicroscope stage so that the fish is oriented along the lateral axis of its body and is in as flat an orientation as possible. The birefringence is then visualized and the muscle integrity is quantified. In the second step of the touch evoked escape assay, a single decorionated larva is placed into a deep petri dish and then centered in the field of view of the stereo microscope. A mechanosensory stimulus is delivered to the larva by touching the tail with an insect pin and the animal's reaction is imaged until the embryo quits swimming or swims out of the field of view. Ultimately, Differences in muscle organization and locomotive responses can be quantified. The main advantages of these non-invasive techniques are that large number of fish can be analyzed quickly and skeletal muscle defects in the same fish can be monitored in vivo over several days. Visual demonstrations of setting up polarized lenses and positioning larvae in the proper orientation are critical to ensure success with these assays. Clean out the inviable eggs from all clutches collected from mating adult fish. These generally appear white and opaque to the naked eye, or as a cluster of dark disorganized cells under the microscope. Return the embryos to the incubator.